What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And over the past two weeks, I've been covering the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, as well as iOS 8. So what I wanted to do in this video, rather than doing the best tweaks of the week, I'm going to be doing the best tweaks of the month, which would be of September. So I want to go ahead and jump through all of these. That way, all you guys are up to date with everything in the jailbreak world. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first tweak I want to show you guys is a new lock screen tweak called Ascend. So you can see right here what this does. If I go to my lock screen, this is basically what it's going to give you. It gives you a little slider knob right here, and it gives you the uh, banner right up here at the top, banner down here. If we swipe across, you'll notice that we get a new passcode screen as well, which I'm not actually a huge fan of, but you just enter your passcode. It fills up those dots right there. But the cool thing about this tweak is it's going to allow you to actually go into your general settings right here. You can turn on dark mode. We'll toggle that off just for the uh, sake of showing you what that does. And you also have use default passcode. So if we tap on that, you'll notice when we go back to the lock screen, first of all, that it's a little bit brighter, which actually I think looks a little bit better. But then when we slide across, you'll notice that I get my original or actually tweaked out passcode screen. So that's definitely the way that I would use this if I use this tweak. Now keep in mind that Ascend doesn't work very well with a whole lot of lock screen tweaks. So if you have any other lock screen tweaks, just keep that in mind. Next up, we have a tweak called Call Bar for iOS 7. So if you guys have been jailbroken for a while, then you probably have heard of Call Bar before. But if you haven't, this basically gives you a new interface when you receive a phone call. So it looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and show you everything that this does. You might hear a few phones ringing, but you can see right here that we're getting FaceTime audio call. And if you have a picture assigned to that contact, then you'll get it right here. You also have your decline, remind me, message, or answer phone call right here. Now if we swipe up, then it's going to silence that phone call, but you can always go right back to if you want to tap on the call bar right up there at the top. Also pulling down on the call bar is going to actually activate the notification center and you can actually swipe through all of these right here. Now you can swipe back up again and it's going to give you that call bar once again. Now this is not all that you can do with call bar. So if we go ahead and decline this, you can also see you can add activator gestures to call bar, which I have added the hold on the status bar right here. So if I do that, you can see that we get call bar once again. So you can access your favorites. If we just tap on that, you can access your recents. You can access your contacts right here. This is for keypad, your voicemail, and of course you can go back if you want to. Now, if you tap up here in this blank space, it's going to open up the last contact that you called. So if we tap on that, you can see that we just received a FaceTime audio call from that email address. So we can call that back if we want to just by tapping the call button. So if we go into our settings here and we tap on call bar, you actually have some options. You obviously want to enable it right here. You can use it at the lock screen. Right down here you have call handling. So if you want to use it for telephone calls, FaceTime audio calls, and FaceTime video calls, then just toggle those on right here. You also have dialer activation methods, which is what I was talking about when I tap and held on the status bar up there. And you can set that right here. Now you can also replace the phone application. So if you toggle that on, when you open up the uh, phone app, then it's going to open up call bar instead. Right down here you have appearance so you can change color blending, you can show call bar icon, you can change the voicemail button, you can also turn on vibrate on answer. So if we go to color blending just to show you guys quickly, uh, you have blend button outlines, you have blend monograms, blend dial buttons, blend keypad buttons, and also a tint color. So if we toggle this on it basically shows you a live update. So if we toggle that on and off, you can see what that does to the outlining of those buttons or toggles right there. And for the blend monograms, if we toggle that off, you can see that it's changing the blend of that monogram right there. And the blend dial buttons actually doesn't show anything uh, in terms of what it does right here, but you also have blend keypad buttons. So if you tap on that, then you can change what that looks like. For the tint color, this is basically going to change the tint of this edit button. So you can see if we tap on that, it's going to change up all the UI that looks like that. So definitely a cool tweak, highly recommended. It's $3.99, but if you're upgrading, if you've already previously purchased it and you're just updating the tweak, then it's free. Next up, we have a tweak called Change Awake. Now what this tweak does is wake up your device anytime a change happens to your music. So for instance, if you're playing a song and then it ends and goes to the next song, then it's going to wake up your device if you have it asleep and it's going to show you the album, the name of the song, the name of the artist, and that album art cover right there on your lock screen. So for instance, let's go ahead and do this for an example. So right here, we're gonna go all the way to the very end of this song 
and then we have six seconds left so we're going to go to the lock screen and then after the that time is up and it changes song the phone's actually going to fade in right here and it's going to show you that album art cover it's going to show you what songs playing basically your lock screen uh, for your music application so that's basically all that this tweak does there are some uh, settings that you can configure if we go into the settings here and we go over to change awake you can basically change up the timing for all of this good stuff so you have the delay awake fade in for awake awake on battery now if you have any issues with determining what each of these features do rather than me going through it because there's quite a few features right here you can just tap on the question mark right here and it's going to explain everything in detail of what each slider does so very helpful i really recommend other developers to do a feature just like this because it can sometimes be confusing depending on what the uh, actual setting says so you might not know what it does until you have to tinker with it and mess with it and then figure it out so having this little explanation is a really nice touch next up we have a tweak called coup I think that's how you pronounce it it's c-o-u and what it does is give you the buttons rather than a slider for answering phone calls or declining phone calls. So you can see exactly what this does if I go to my lock screen here and I go ahead and give myself a phone call. Now keep in mind this is not going to work with call bar, but you can see right here that we have a decline button as well as an accept button. So we can just accept it or decline. That's basically all this tweak does. It just gets rid of that slider uh, to answer phone calls. Next up we have a tweak that's actually a feature on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus and this is reachability 7 so if you guys haven't watched my iPhone 6 review I definitely recommend checking it out I'll put a link in the description below for you guys but basically what reachability does or reachability 7 does is allow you to move down that entire screen just like you can on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus so you can see right here all you need to do is attach an activator gesture to this and then you can activate it however you'd like I've gone ahead and set it to just a uh, touch ID sensor right there so I just put my finger on there once and it moves the entire screen down now the one thing about this that's a little bit limiting uh, in terms of comparing it to the actual reachability is that you have to scan your finger or do the activator gesture again to move it back up usually like on the iPhone 6 you can just swipe up or tap up here and it's going to actually move that back up but you actually have to do the activator gesture one more time but that's all that this does it gives you that functionality that you get on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 plus and brings it to older devices and next up we have a tweak called sound light now this is a very simple tweak but I actually like it you can see what it does if I pull up the control center right here and if I tap on the flashlight it actually makes a sound every time you turn on or turn off the flashlight so let's go ahead and listen And it actually sounds like the flashlight on Half-Life 2, if I'm, uh, I might be mistaken there, you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that's where that sound bites from. But definitely a cool tweak, and it's a free one, so check it out. Next up we have NC Calc 7. Now if you download this tweak, it's basically going to give you a widget right here in your notification center. Now the only thing I don't like about this is the layout. I don't know why, I mean 1, 2, 3, I mean up like that, it's just not... Uh, how I would normally picture an, a calculator. The layout's kind of weird, but it still works. So, I mean, if we wanted to do a quick calculation, then we can see, obviously, that it works just fine. Now, to enable this, you obviously need to go into your settings, and then you need to go into your notification center, and then right down here, you have NC Calc 7. Just make sure that that's toggled on, and then you can rearrange it if you want to as well, so we can move this up to the top. We'll put it right there, and then when we bring this down, you'll notice that we have the calculator right there. So a cool tweak and a free one, so check it out. And last but not least, we have a hard to pronounce tweak called Tinked. And what this does is allow you to tint almost everything on your device in terms of UI. So if we go into our settings here, you can see if we open this up, you'll have a kill switch, so you make sure that that's enabled. Then right down here, you can turn on blended nav bars. So you can notice right here that I have that enabled right there. So it's a little more noticeable like in the App Store, which I'll show you here in just a second. But you can see this is actually a transparent effect. You can see the background as you scroll up. But right down here, we also have app tint. So for the dark tint color, you have blue. For the light tint color, I've changed it to red. For down here, we have other, so the notification center color is purple. Control center color is whatever that is. We have a HUD color of a 
like a blood red almost and then for the keyboard color we have a blue color so you can see if we pull up the control center that we have that light color right there if we pull down the notification center then we have a purple color and there's a ton of different colors that you can choose from if you tap on this you can see all the different colors as well as all the different shades of that color so a whole lot of different colors to choose from so you can customize this to whatever that you'd like. You also have a reset to defaults as well as restart all applications, which is going to obviously update the application and allow those colors to take effect. But just to show you this nav bar right here, if we jump into the app store, you'll notice that as I go up, you'll notice the color of the wording right there as well as the background just kind of uh, you know, has that transparent effect as we scroll through it. And I think the nav bars look really nice and the ability to change up the colors of you know almost everything on your device in terms of UI control center notification center everything like that definitely really cool but that's all I have for this episode let me know what you guys think about all these jailbreak tweaks in the comments below and let me know if you guys have been waiting for a jailbreak tweak video if you guys want me to do more of these more often or if you guys want the iPhone 6 iPhone 6 plus and iOS 8 videos let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe Alright guys, until next time, peace.